The town of Lewis in Sussex is set in rolling countryside some 8.5 miles northeast of Brighton to the south, obviously, the southwest, and 20.9 miles south of East Grinstead to the, to the east, west, north. It's an area now known as East Sussex, though at one time it was known, as was the whole of Sussex, as Sussex. Good morning. Hello. It's a bit chilly out there, isn't it? Mm. Would you like me to put you on our mailing list? Uh, no, no, it's it's Roy Mallard. Is that Roy, as in Roy Orbison? No, no, it's it. Uh, I've actually come to see Austin Levick. Okay, and do you know your postcode? Or... No, no, no. I, I um... Levick's is one of the oldest established estate agents in the area, at least for the time being. Austin Levick, the senior partner with whom I'd come to spend the day, is currently the grandson of the original founder Harold Levick, who set up the company with a stake of just twenty pounds given to him by his father as a going away present. The sole condition attached to it being that he went away. Um, look... And is I, there a daytime telephone number? He said it would be a good idea if I arrived at about nine o'clock. Is it o'clock. an older or a newer type of property that you're interested no, no, in? No, 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 neither, because... because so, th- both? No. Well, it won't accept it, both. Shall it, I... Is put, he in his office? I mean, what about a flat? No, 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 look, I... I and are you I, sure you want to delete this file irrevocably? Oh, dear, just a minute. But, um, which is his office? Do you know your postcode? Um, Mr or... Mallard? Oh, hello, yes. It's very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. Hello, it's Nick Brewer. Who? Are you single or married? Uh, married. Nick Brewer. Yes. Uh, have, have I come to... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr I... Levitt can't be here to meet you himself. He's just phoned through to say that he's unfortunately been delayed. Oh, dear. Uh, so he's asked me to look after you in the meantime. Oh, I see. Right. He won't oh. accept that you're married. Hmm? What do you mean it won't accept it? Oh, Rachel, uh, um, Mr. Mallard's come to spend the day with us. I'll, I'll deal with him if you like. It just says error. Yeah. Would you like to come over and have a seat? Please? Yes, Mr. OK, Mallard. fine. I'm sorry about that. Rachel's been given the job of getting our new database up and running. Oh, that's OK. And, uh, yeah. She obviously misheard you. Oh, well, that's... What do you mean? The Lewis branch of Levick's is based around a light and airy open-plan office with separate islands of comfortable tables and chairs. Or at least comfortable chairs. The desks look a bit hard and angular. Each of the three full-time negotiators has his or her own desk, depending on whether he or she is male or female, together with the keyboard and screen on which so many men or women today base their or their working lives. Austin sends his apologies. He's, he's had to meet a client for breakfast, right. you see. And um, anyway, he hopes we'll be back by mid-morning, definitely, depending on what time it is. Right, I see. Hi, Nick. Hello, Dad. Hello. Yes, it's... This um, is my desk, sit down. I mean, please, you know, uh, feel free to... Right, yes. So, so, I mean, the the three of you share the office. Yes, I've been here for two years, and Rachel's been here about a year, I think, whereby she does a lot of the admin. Right, and and, and you've left out... um, Sorry, I don't know her name. That's right, yes. Sorry? Yeah, I've left her out. Right, right. Nick Brewer is 34. Born initially in London, he found himself moving to Hove in Sussex at the age of two when his father, who was sub-manager in a bank, was offered a position with a younger woman in Leicester. At school, he set his sights on going into the police force, but during the medical, it was discovered he was both colour-blind and potentially unstable when he fainted at the sight of his own urine sample. Hello, Levix. Nick's... Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry, Nick's on the other line at the moment. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm completely new here. Uh, can I ask her to call you back? Well, you could hold, but he might be a while. He's in the middle of a very long phone call. Well, because it's already very long. Hello, I'm Madeline. Oh, hello, so, it's Roy Mallard. I hope Nick's looking after you, OK? Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> when I heard that Austin was going to be late, I was rather hoping that you were going to get given to me. Oh. oh no, don't stand up, really. No, really, that's all right. Shall I, um, take your coat? Oh, yes, please. I'll I'll get him to call you back as soon as he can. Does he know your number? Nice coat. Oh, no, it's nothing really. You know, it's just... It's very stylish. I'm mad for a polyester mix. Are you? Mm, And lovely and warm, too. I Mm. might try and think of a way of persuading you to let me borrow it before the day's out. Well, I'll try and think of a way, too. I don't know what it is with me. I've come out with nowhere near enough clothes on, as usual. Oh, yes. No. Yes. He he can Um. be a bit, yes. Well, not completely useless. Um... I mean, I I know he's been very busy recently, although, of course, I don't know him at all. I've, um... I've just made some coffee. Shall we sneak over and have some while Nick's on the phone? Well, that would be lovely, but I think I'm sort of, you know, with him. Well, you should know that that just makes you all more attractive to me. Oh, well, you know, treat him keen, keep him... Uh, no, wait a minute, keep him mean, treat... treat um, I'll, um, I'll bring you over a cup. Yes. Do you take sugar or milk or...? Well, that depends on who's asking. <laughs> well, don't push your luck. White, please, with one sugar. Yeah, well, I'll make sure I'll put it very simply, yes. Good idea. Not at all. Goodbye. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, how can I help you? It's me. You're going to have to give me a bit of a start. Roy Mallard. 
Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you seem quite busy this morning already. Yes, well, the thing about working in an estate agent is that um, you've got to be able to keep lots of different... Um... Sorry, what was the question? You seem quite busy here this morning. Did I just say that? No, I did. Oh, OK. It's just it's a matter of being able to keep lots of different sets of details in your head at the same time. I mean, for instance, that seemed to be quite a difficult phone call. Mm. Uh, that was Laura Gurney. Uh -huh. I've been handling her purchase, and there have been one or two problems just, just with the paperwork, sort of details, um, and she's a particularly fierce individual, actually. Um, did I say she was a woman as well? I sort of gathered it. So, so what, sort mm. of, what sort of details? Oh, it's too boring, really, to explain. Well, things like, well, I don't know, um, price and... Yeah. Um... Easy coffee, Roy. Oh. And don't think I do this for everyone. Oh, I bet you say that to all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's great. That's great. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Do, do you know that the smell of fresh coffee always right? Me. Oh, come on. Pardon? Oh, we've got to go. Go, go, go where? Now. now. Oh, oh, but Madeline's just. Maddie. Oh, God. Maddie's just. Look, um, you won't have time to drink that. So but, uh, oh, it's a good job you smelt it then. Right? Okay, I'm going to start the car. All right. Well, 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 I suppose I'd better go. Okay. Right. I mean, it's not that I particularly want to. <laughs> okay. You know. Um, right. Well, perhaps you could show me where you put my. I've got your coat. Right. Well. Bye then. Bye, Roy. Can you read that sign? Uh, uh, the B2116. Oh, fucker. What does it say underneath it? Uh, slow. Pardon? Um... <laughs> Ten minutes later, we were in the depths of the Sussex Downs on our way to Hailsham, where Nick had to show some buyers around a prospective house. Actually, it was the buyers who were prospective. The house was already a house. So, which bit of the job do you prefer more, being in the office or...? Out. Not being there. Being out. Right. That's interesting, because some of the others seem sort of pleasant enough. Pleasant? Well, you know, just friendly and sort of, well, sort of bouncy, really. Bouncy? In, in some ways, I mean... Uh... Well, if you don't mind, I don't want to talk about this. Right, OK. That's fair enough. Absolutely. It's obviously something that you, you don't want to talk about. Well, right. Um, so, um, is Hailsham generally regarded as a sought-after area? In it's amazing, of... you know, but I really did love her. Because, I mean, it's quite conveniently placed, isn't it? You know, sort of between sort of Eastbourne... I just and, fell for her completely. I, I was out of control, you know? Like, I couldn't sleep properly, I couldn't think straight, I didn't eat. I, yes, I just, right. um... You know, the thing is, uh... It was lovely. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I mean, it does, does sound... So when I realised that the whole thing was just a game for her, it was too late. I couldn't... You know, it was like I couldn't put on the brakes. Uh, are, you, are you sure it was just a, just a game for her? Because No, she's I, just a flirt, that's all. Uh, that's what she does, and that's how she amuses herself. You're not being a bit harsh on her, perhaps? And I mean, good luck to her, the bitch. I mean, you know, she is young, and you know, with lots of, you know, sort of... I mean, it's OK, I mean, I, I know I'll, I'll be OK eventually. Not that I've, I mean, I mean, I've only spoken to her for perhaps um, three minutes the first time, and then perhaps about two when she came back again. I mean, no doubt in seven or eight years' time I'll look back at this. Maybe and a bit more than that know, the first be... time, because she was talking about my coat. Yeah. And, um, uh, oh, can you see what that sign uh, says there? Pick your own. No, the one underneath it, I mean. Oh, sorry. Um, strawberries. What about the one underneath that? So, is this our facing? Um, it is in the mornings, yes. Oh, I like that porch thing. Blimey. What? Mm. No, it's nothing. Mark and Sarah are in their late twenties. They've been going out together since they met a year and a half ago on an orienteering weekend in Andover, Salisbury, Devizes, Salisbury and Devizes. And since then, they've been living separately in a one-bedroom rented flat, Sarah in the mornings and Mark late at night. Now they're looking for their first house together. If they get it right, it could be one of the most important decisions they ever make. If they get it wrong, it'll be even more important, of course. And uh, this is the walk-in bathroom with... Oh, no, it's cupboard. Um... Oh, these floorboards are lovely, aren't they? Well, if you like floorboards, they're great, yes. Yeah, wonderful. You don't like floorboards? They're all right, I suppose. I, I could live without them. I don't think you could. That's very good. Yes, that's very funny. And this is... Um, uh, this is another cupboard. Uh, very handy in terms of getting quickly from one well, cupboard to another. So where is a, this bathroom, then? To another. And, and this, I think, is the downstairs... Uh, uh, yep, this is the kitchen, which, as you can see, is, is fully fully downstairs, uh, which is always something... Oh, yes, nice. Um, yes, I like those. Yeah. Well, you could always get rid of those units, I suppose. Why? Well, what's wrong with them? Well, uh, maybe you uh, could like repaint them, they... them, I don't know. But why? I mean, what's wrong with yellow? You are joking, aren't you? 
No, I, I love yellow. What is the colour, you mean? Well, I yes. think it's got real well, possibilities. Like... Yes, well, it's well, it quite a nice view of the back garden just, uh, from here. Yes, 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 that is nice, isn't it? Yes. 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 Uh, and then you've got plumbing here. Uh, um, what for? I mean, where? Oh, well, you can't see it, of course, but it's here. Oh, oh I see, right, yes. Oh, there's a bit, look. And that's a space for a cooker, isn't it? It would be if you put one in it, yes. I see. What's wrong with spotlights? Well, what's wrong with them? Well, they're just completely new. Well, you can never have enough spotlights. As Nick took them through the house point by point, pausing sometimes to draw attention to distinctive features like stairs or internal walls, Sarah and Mark were trying to work out whether this was a space in which their life together could take shape and unfold. Mm, I really like these doors. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, didn't you like them? I didn't say that. Well, you don't like them, do you? I didn't say that. Well, you didn't need to. Bloody obvious, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Excuse me, and, uh, and this... Uh, is the third bedroom. Third? I thought you said in the detail there were only two. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, what it is, is these houses were built without a second bedroom. What? And, and here again, as you can see, you've got a built-in window. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's a bit small, this, isn't it? I think um, it's a perfect size. Oh, no, there's a surprise. You said standing back in amazement. Ow! Oh, sorry. That's OK. Yeah, by the time you get a desk and a computer in here, there wouldn't be room to swing a cat. What are you talking about? There's tons of room to move about. Look. Ow! Sorry. Sorry. That's OK. And anyway, I mean, it all depends what you want to use it for, doesn't it? You might have to have your computer somewhere else. What do you mean? Well, this might not end up as a study. We might need it. What for? Uh, shall, I, shall I meet you outside on the... I mean, it's, it's a bit cramped in here, so... Yeah, no, it's just... bloody tiny, isn't it? Well, yes, it is a bit. It's, um, it's a... What? I mean, no, 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 it's not. You just uh, said it was tiny. No, well, I mean, it's, you know, for a small one, it's huge. What do you mean we might need it? Well, it depends how many of us there are in the house. Well, what do you mean? There's two, you and me. Well, now there are, yes, but... Oh, Christ. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh dear. Have you got him? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have, oh, yes. Okay. Has he ever done this before? Not without throwing up first, oh, no. Is he all right? I can't believe he did that. So, so, so what would you like me to, um, what, what shall I... I mean, it can't be the first time he's ever thought about... Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, how could you get him get him? I mean, I mean, I mean, should I put him in, you know, drag him through... When you're in love with someone, and I mean really in love with someone, it's something that you just, you know, I mean, you're bound to find yeah. yourself thinking about it. You are, aren't you? It's a very tender thing. Yes. Hello? Hello? It's just that he started to dribble a bit. Looking round a house together had given Mark and Sarah a lot to think about, and when Mark was able to stand up and move his own limbs again, we left them on the pavement thinking about it and set off back to the office. And is it older or newer style properties that you're interested in? Either. Oh. Are you sure that you don't have a preference? Even a slight one would be OK. Mm. Yeah, I mean, what about newer ones? They're nice, they're very convenient, and a lot of them have got double glazing. When we arrived, Madeline had a message for me from Austin Levick, saying that although the meeting part of his appointment had finished on time, the breakfast part of it was overrunning catastrophically. I know, but you could get one that's already been done up. I mentioned to Nick that I thought it might be interesting and genuinely valuable for me to find out as much as I could about how some of the other people in the office, like Madeline, for instance, spent their time. And he said that if I liked, he could explain to me how a valuation for a house was arrived at, though, of course, it was up to me and he personally didn't care at all in any way whatsoever what I did. Austin asked me to apologise to you. Oh, that's lovely. And he was keen that we should do whatever we could to make you feel at home. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he meant by that. No, neither am I. Well, nothing would surprise me, knowing Austin. No, neither am I. I sometimes wonder whether he sees me as just some sort of piece of decoration. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he doesn't. Anyway, I, um, I'm sure that Nick's looking after you well. Oh, yes. Nick? Yes. Oh, Nick, yes, yes, fine. Well, well we've just been out to Hailsham. He was showing some people round a house. Oh, Hailsham, that's a shame. Yes, exactly. I mean, God, yes, Hailsham. Right? <laughs> no, no it's, it's just that I was about to go to Hailsham now. Oh, how fantastic. Yet to do a valuation on a house. How fantastic. Anyway, I'll, um, maybe I'll see you when I get back. Right, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, so you're, you're going now, are you? In a minute, yeah. Right, right, to value a house. Yeah. In Hailsham. Yeah. Good, good. So, um, so, so it's you and... No, it's just me. Just you. On my own, yeah. Right, ready? Pardon? Yeah, I'm starting the explanation now. Right, um, what... what yeah, I... the thing you see about putting a valuation on the house... Um, right, yes, <laughs> um... The, yeah, the thing about putting a valuation on the house... Yes, good, see, could I just... In, uh, sorry, am I going too fast? No, 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 that's fine, but, but, um... I might see you later, then, because I'm just, I'm just... Right, right, no, 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 well, no, well, um, perhaps, um... Perhaps what? How? How would it be if? What? Well, nothing really. Just a just 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 an idea that came into my head while 
Where else would it come into, I suppose? But how would well, it be? You might as well sit down, because this is yes, quite watch, interesting. The, sorry, could you just... Um, um, yeah, I wonder, yeah, as I was saying, the, the thing about putting no, evaluation actually, actually, on, a, but, on a property... Actually, but... Yeah, I, well, pull up one of those chairs around this side, if you want. Right, to yes, on, good. A flow chart. Good, but I'm, I mean, how would it be if we well, perhaps did this later? Have, have fun. No, can you just... Can you just... Um, sorry, could you, could you just... Oh, thank God. What? I didn't say anything. It, that wasn't me. Hello, Levix. Nick's... Oh, my God. Oh, good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs Gurney. I'm afraid Nick's not in at the moment. Could I take a message on his behest? No, no, but I, I assume you were called Mrs Gurney. Hello. Hello, you certainly cover some ground, don't you? The thing is... Damn, Nick started a long phone call. Has he? Yes, it's a bit frustrating, really, because, you know, there's a lot I want to see in a short time, and Austin hasn't arrived yet, so I'm a bit sort of, you know, I mean, I'm in a bit of a sort of, a, you know, a bit of a... Bit of a... Well, it's, it's a shame you've already been to Hailsham with... Um... Oh, yes, I'd love to. Uh, are you sure? No. Pardon? And just up there, there's a place you can pick your own strawberries. There's not much you don't know about the Hailsham area, is there? Mm -hmm. So, so... When you do a valuation, what do you need to look at exactly? Did Nick um, say anything about lunch? No, not a sausage. Not a sausage. Because if you wanted to, we could... Um, oh, lovely. We could try to find a pub on the way back out in the country somewhere. Yeah. I mean, if that would make sense for you. I mean, you might want to get back to the... No, office. no, that's great. I wouldn't want to distract you or lead you astray. No, I love pubs on the way back. OK, then. It's a date. Right. Um, you were asking me about valuations. Yes, but that doesn't really matter. Let's just enjoy the... Um... Um, we look for things like room sizes, aspects, central heating, age and general condition of the property. Right, with... right. I expect, I expect measuring up is a bit of a two-man operation, is it? Or a two-person, say, say a woman and a man. <laughs> we don't actually use tape measures anymore. Oh? Right, we use um, this here. Um, it's, it's called sonic tape. Sonic tape? Yeah, it bounces sound waves off an object and gives you a readout of it, exactly how far away it is. It's sort of like a bat. Oh, right, yes, I see. Try it against the back window. OK. <clears throat> I meant point it at the back window. Oh, right, so, uh, oh, sorry, yes. Um, so I think it's still working. Oh, you must be Madeline. Maddie, please. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. Hello, Maddie. It's James Wanford. Hello, James. <laughs> I think we spoke on the phone. Yeah, of course we did. I remember your voice very well. Oh, really? Well, of course I do. Shall I take your coat? Oh, uh, how kind of you. Yes, of course. Uh, you might want to keep it on. The heating's gone off now. Yes, but darling, it's an outdoor coat. Yeah, I'm just saying she might want to keep it on. Well, I mean, that might be an idea for the moment. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me. I've come out with nowhere near enough clothes on, as usual. Oh, yes. No, I mean, uh, Maddie, this is Paula, my wife. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Paula. It certainly feels uh, very warm, this coat. Well, it will do if you squeeze it, darling. It looks like some kind of polyester next to me. It's Roy's, actually. Hello. Roy's following me around. Well, um, mm. good for you, Roy. No, no, no. I, I only met him this morning. He's already got me wearing some of his clothes. No, no I haven't, no. I, no, I mean, I mean, what you said... James and Paula Warnford are in their late 30s and have been married for a total of 25 years, 12 and a half years each. James works not all that far away in Hastings as a quite local government officer, but Paula works a very long way up in National Health Service Management, as she pointed out. I think I'll start by taking a few measurements upstairs, if that's OK. Yes, yeah, fine, yeah. Uh, do you want a hand? Oh, that's really kind of you. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a hand if you want. No, it's OK, do me. No, but I know how to use her sonic tape. I know about sonic tapes. It's uh, like a bat, isn't it? Yes, but it's much more complicated than that. Actually. Anyway, I know my way around the rooms. Yes, but... It's my house. Yeah. What did you say just then? It's our house. Yeah. <laughs> Whilst James and Madeline were upstairs, I had a surprisingly long time to ask Paula about their reasons for putting the house on the market. Oh, uh, well, it's uh, all to do with our daughter Cordelia. She's Cordelia? That's a lovely name. Uh, Cordelia. Yes, lovely. Well, she's ten now, and it's really for her sake that we're moving. Right. Is she, is she very big? Yeah. I mean, neither of us have any time for elitism or anything that smacks of special treatment, but yeah. I mean, we've looked at local schools, and yeah. they're fine for what they are, but... But they're yeah. a bit small. But at the same time, I think that both James and I have come to realise that having a gifted child is it's a, something of an extra responsibility. Oh, I see, yes. So, so um, what is it that she does? Well, she's playing at the moment. Oh, that's nice. When she's not playing, what is it that she's gifted at, at exactly? 
She's a violinist. Oh, I see. Yes, of course, yes. And she practices in that room for hours on end. Yes, 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 I wondered what it was, what, um, who it was. I mean, it all comes from her. I mean, we, we've never pushed her at any point, in any way at all, in, in the least. No. And how does Delia feel about the prospect of moving to a new school and a new area? Well, Cordelia's not really aware of it. She's so focused on her music. Yeah, yeah. So, so we haven't told her. But, but, I mean, won't she miss her friends? No. Oh, right. No. Yes, good. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I think they're lovely. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. They're not very practical for going up and down stairs, though. Oh, well, well, they're certainly... Uh... They are. I must say, I have no idea that valuations were so thorough. Yes, there must be a lot of very big rooms up there. I'll, um, I'll put something on paper for you this afternoon, and it should be with you by, by tomorrow. Oh, lovely. Um, what about a cup of tea? Actually, I think I ought to get back to the office. Oh, dear. What a shame. What I'm saying is we've got a completely open mind on that. I mean, we're, we're quite happy to look at places with or without gardens as well, oh, aren't yeah, we? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm afraid you're going to have to have a garden. But we don't really... The gardens are great. You can have plants and everything. But we didn't actually want a garden, so I work quite hard, you see. Do you yeah. have a garage or off-road parking? We haven't got a car. We've not got a car. Yeah, would you think we might be getting one? Well, we don't need one, really. Right. When we got back to the office, Madeline already had a client, a man of about twice her age and probably married, waiting to see her. I found Nick at his desk, just finishing what had been a large and probably very delicious bacon, lettuce and tomato baguette with mayonnaise. There'd been a further message for me from Austin Levick. See, that's just typical of her, absolutely typical. Then she made this big thing of inviting him to help her with her sonic tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor guy. It was very sad. And was there a lot of hair flicking going on as well? <laughs> well, what do you mean, like this, you mean? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's very good, actually. Oh, all the time. God, you poor guy. Yes, I know. So, so there was a message, you mm, said? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Austin phoned to say... Oh, yeah, uh, because his breakfast meeting overran so badly, he's had to rearrange a mid-morning meeting as a late working lunch. Oh, I see. Hello, is it Nick? Yes, hello. How can I help you? Alison Tyler. We spoke on the phone yesterday. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, of course, yes. Oh, sorry I'm a bit late. No, 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 no. I had a bit of trouble parking my car. Mm. Uh, this is Roy Mallard. Uh, he's spending the day with me. Hello, with don't son. mind me, just sort of... David you know. always used to make me feel I was useless at parking, but actually I'm bloody good and there's nothing wrong with me saying just that. Just sort of, you know, carry on and... Uh, we I can get they... them on foot from here, uh, can't Yes, we? yes, I expect so, yes. Yes, yes, we could. We, we, we can, yeah. Great, right, right then. Let, shall we go? Yeah, good idea. Good. Um, um, right. who, who is she? Absolutely no idea. Where are we going? I'm just going to take the keys to all our properties and follow her. Right. At the age of 47, which is an age that she is 100% completely comfortable with in herself as a woman, Alison Tyler is looking for a house on her own for the first time in her life. She met her husband, David, at university. Apparently for a memorable few nights, she was Titania to his bottom, and later on they were in plays together. Alison read English and had ambitions to get a job in publishing, but David was reading law, and in a dramatic and unexpected turn of events, demonstrated beyond reasonable doubt that she had in fact intended to marry him from the outset. Within four years, there were two children, first a daughter and then another one. But because David was male, as soon as he hit 45, his brains disappeared into his trousers, and he ran off with a so-called legal secretary who kept flashing her legs at him, but whose figure almost certainly won't last into her 30s. Right, here we are. Right. right. Now, yeah. Are you sure you're all right with those keys? Yeah, fine, thanks. Come in. Uh, as you can see... Uh... Oh, we used to have a paper lantern nightshade like that. Oh, did you? Well, um... Straight ahead of you. Oh, two of them in Chichester. One like that and a smaller one. All right. Uh, as you can see, there's the, um, the the kitchen. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I wonder oh, who that well, is. I'm not sure. I'll just have a look. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry. That's OK. You must have wondered where I'd gotten to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As Nick showed her round the house, Alison had to try to be open to the possibilities that it suggested for her and decide whether this was somewhere where she could really be... where she could really be. And, uh, what's, uh, through... Oh, yeah. And as you can see, you've got a self-contained fireplace unit here with chimney above. Is that original? No, it's quite common, actually. Yeah, up until now, I've only ever thought of myself in relation to others. You know, as wife or mother. Yes. But now it's my turn. 
which is something to be celebrated. Yes, yes. And sod everybody else. Yes, Sodom. <laughs> I imagine it's very different when you've lived on your own all your life. Yes, yeah, so do I, yes. What do you mean, so do you? What? Um, <clears throat> and you've got uh, nice high ceilings, which is good because it means the walls are, uh, are nice and high as well. So We had an open fire in our first flat in London. Oh, well, that's, that it must have been very, very nice. Well, <laughs> it was endless pasta then. On our knees. Oh dear. Well, I mean, it's a bit difficult to control, Pastor, well, isn't it? It's just and hard to believe that was me. Mm. I hate bloody Pastor. Mm. Me too. Yes, so do I. Horrible. And uh, as you can see, the landing is very convenient for all the for the upstairs rooms. Ah, uh, ours was very like this, only only bigger. Was it? Ah, that would have been Emma's bedroom there. Really, that's nice. And then you've got the principal bedroom uh, through here. Oh, that one's funny. And uh, as you can see, the. Uh... Oh my God! Who the hell are you? I am. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't realise anyone was was in. Hello, Roy Mallard. People like oh, us. I've just come to show this. Uh, uh, as, uh, as if I needed reminding. I can't handle this. I just look, can't handle it. Yes, you can. Just... Really? Yes, you can. Uh, uh, this a... isn't what it seems. Uh, we we were just. Uh, Shut up, Fiona. What are you, what the hell's going on? Come on. No, I can't on. handle this. I just can't handle this. No, it's all right, really. Oh, She's just. Uh... Oh, I can't handle this. She can't handle this. God, I can't. I A, a thing about pasta. Before going back to the office, Nick and I decided to stroll up and down Lewis High Street with Alison for an hour and three quarters until her sister arrived to drive her to her car, which the police had towed away because it had been parked across the entrance to a police station. Oh, Nick, there you are. Where have you been? I'm, um, I'm glad I caught you before I left. There have been a lot of calls for you from Laura Gurney. I said you'd phone her before you went home. I hope that's all right. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Nick's a lovely guy, but sometimes he can be a bit intense. I think he's quite nice. I am. Um, I must go. Oh, there was a message for you from Austin, Roy. Really? Yeah, he says he's really, really, really sorry. He's been trying to contact you, but his battery's low. His battery? On his mobile phone. Oh, I see. Yes. Did he say anything else? I don't know. Right. Thanks. I was beginning to think you were trying to avoid me or something. No. Everyone else has gone home, so, um... Well, I mean, I'd stay and talk, but I, I think someone's coming to... Oh, well, there he is now. Oh, nice car. Yes, yes, great. It was lovely to meet you. Mm. Um, have you had a good day with us? Fantastic. Nick will probably be back in a minute, I should think. Well, then. Bye, Roy. Mm. Right. Good. It hadn't been about houses at all. It was about people like us, who live in them, and about what houses mean to them, us, people like us. There's something almost primeval about rooting out a space in which to live, like the business of eating, sleeping and copulation, or perhaps eating, copulation and then sleeping. The instinct to put a shelter over our heads is something we share with the rest of the animal kingdom, except for animals that don't really have heads, like worms, or don't copulate, like... Um, like worms. I'd assumed that my day with Austin Levick was going to be about negotiations, instructions, market trends and prices, but in the end, it was about spending a day with other people altogether. I wonder what they do about locking up. I suppose, I suppose someone's bound to... Uh... It's Roy Mallard, isn't it? Sorry? It's Austin Levick. I'm so glad I caught you. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, well, no, that's all right. I mean, I mean, never mind. Now, now you're here, uh, perhaps we could just... Yes. Roy Mallard would like to give a special thank you to Chris Langham and also to Hugh Bonneville, Sally Phillips, Sophie Langham, Elliot Nichols, Robert Harper, Simon Greenall, Joanna Monroe, Felicity Montague and Paul Mottram. The programme was written by John Morton and produced by Paul Schlesinger.